Hi guys, in this lecture we'll be creating uh, a way to tell if the ball is hit either the left end or the right end. If it does, we'll stop the game and we'll realign or recenter the ball. Alright, let's get started. So let's close this. Let's close our... Alright, so after some troubleshooting, I found out that... Uh, I'm actually unsure of how to bring the ball back to the center and then repeat the process all over again. So for right now, let's leave that. And instead, what we're gonna do is, first of all, let's run our application. All right. And we have it running. So I'm just gonna click this and so right now it is hitting off. So what we're gonna do is if it hits the end, the ball will continue to move, but will show a score up here. So that sounds good. All right. So let's go over back to our program. And now we're going to have to initialize a few canvas.create tech stuff. So let's do that. Now what we have to do is create, first let's create a counter for score. So I'm going to create two variables. One is going to be counter and the other is going to be counter one. So self.counter is equal to zero. Self.counter is equal to counter one is equal to zero. So command S and let's go over here. So we should actually create a score function of our ball class. So all that score function will do is if it hits the side or if it hits yeah, let's do that actually. So let's delete that. I'm sorry. So let's delete that and let's create a function called score. So def uh, score. And it's going to take two parameters, self, and then it's going to take a value, the value that we'll pass in. So if you don't remember in a few lectures ago, when we were talking about variables and ints, variables and ints, we created global variables. So global variables are basically variables that exist throughout the whole framework. So if I call this variable anywhere, it would still count. So global counter, global counter one. And all we're gonna say is if val is equal to true, then a is equal to self dot canvas dot create text 125 comma 140 or 40 comma text is going to be equal to counter font is equal to Arial so put that in brackets. I'll, I'll, I'll explain what I'm doing. Just give me a sec Arial and 60 and fill should be white fill is equal to white There we go so basically, if our value is equal to true, canvas or item config, a fill is equal to black. So this is the next thing we want to write, canvas dot item config, a comma fill is equal to black. So let's go back and then counter plus equal to one. And last but not least, let's just copy this line. There we go. There we go. Command S. And then copy this whole thing. Command C. Command V. Now we're just going to say if value is equal to false. Let's change this. So it's going to be 375,40 instead. And then we're going to say text is going to be little counter 1. Text is counter 1. And this is 375. So one sec. All right, so we created a function called def score and it takes a parameter value. Now that value will be either true or false. So let's add that first. So if position is less than or equal to zero. We want to say uh, val is equal to true. So right, we're actually going to call it with self dot score is true. And if it's more then we're going to say self dot score is false. So we created a function. It takes the value, which is going to be true or false. We created two global variables, which is going to be our score. If value is equal to true, then what are we going to do? We're going to say 
a is equal to self dot canvas dot create text one twenty five comma forty text is going to be the score which is counter and font is going to be Arial size sixty fill white. Then we're going to use the item config I was talking about earlier. Canvas dot item config. What are we configuring? The a which is our text and what are we doing with it? We're going to fill it with black instead. Next but not least, we did the exact same thing, but here we did counter plus, we increased our counter, so score was increased, and then we created it again. So hopefully you got that. If not, don't worry, I'll explain this once again. Now, we also have to initialize our counter variables. So what we're gonna do is if you scroll all the way up over here, let's just initialize them. Counter is equal to zero, counter one is equal to zero. Command S, F5, and invalid syntax is giving us an error. What is it saying? Global counter one, that's because that was wrong. Okay, counter. Command S, F5, does this give us an error? It shouldn't, and voila. So as you can see right now, we have a bug that it's printing forever and it's not stopping. So let's go back to our val true counter plus or equal to one. And now we're going to have to say, all right. So the main thing that we actually forgot is this. So wait, cancel. The reason why it's giving us so many iterations is when we set set dot score is equal to true, we also need to add the line self dot x is equal to three. I'm sorry, we shouldn't have deleted that. That was my mistake. So let's actually put this before command x, command v. And then over here, we'll be saying self dot x is equal to minus three. So command s f five. Let's see if this works. And what do we get? We get zero. So it should be actually showing us one or right, interesting scores, but let's see what happens next. Three. All right. That worked. That didn't do anything. Five. So it's skipping weirdly, but don't worry. We'll fix this. All right. So seven, five, but this, our other score isn't even working. All right. So it's skipping my twos and the other one isn't working. All right. So let's see what could be going wrong. It must just be a simple mistake. All right, here's the mistake. Counter plus or equal to one, and this should be counter one plus or equal to one, F5. Invalid syntax, and that's because a random, this has been pressed, command S, F5. So one, that's great. One, great. So this commendable, guys, I agree we had to do some troubleshooting there. I'm sorry about that, but this is great. So now we have a fully functional Pong app that you can play with your friends, do whatever you want. Now, obviously, this can have a little more functionality. I think the first thing we're missing is a winning statement. So let's go ahead and add that. But let's just play a little bit, you know, have some fun. All right, cool. So I'm going to close out of this. And what do we have to look for? It's going to be here. So while one, we're going to be saying if... Uh, so we want to see if counter is 10, right? So we're going to say if counter is equal to 10, if counter is equal to 10, what are we saying? Ball.x should be zero. Ball.y should be zero. Paddle.y should be zero. Paddle1.y should be zero. So we want, nothing should be able to move. So that's all we're trying to do right now. And then what do you want to say? We want, um, so let's create text. So canvas dot create text 250 comma 200 comma text is equal to congrats player one. You win. Hallelujah. Great. Comma. We have to make the font font is equal to 32 not fint font font is equal to 32 and fill is equal to red great so this is the first or the second step and we have to do this again canvas.create text 
250 comma 215 comma text whoops i missed the brackets there 250 comma 215 comma text is equal to score score colon plus str counter one so player one no it should be counter uh counter one there we go and plus let's try it out okay plus right so it should be counter one plus well, actually let's just do counter plus this plus another str counter one and let's put a space so it'll just display the score there we go that's what we want comma font is equal to 32 fill is equal to red if i were you i just copy this so let's just command c hit enter back 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 if and i'll just command v and doing the same thing except over here player two command s f5 invalid syntax what's wrong it's saying over here why is it giving me this error let's see enter all right, so I found our error. Our error was that we forgot to put the brackets over here. So now that we've done that, F5, unindent does not match any outer indentation level. Okay, so let's delete that. All right, so I fixed our error doing some troubleshooting. Uh, it was just an indentation error. All right, so let's try playing our game. So down, there we go, down, all right so it's working so far I have high hopes so I'm just gonna close this and instead of doing 10 cuz we're not gonna wait that long I'm just gonna make this one and one command s f5 and it gave me so it's automatically going to two all right interesting all right, so the easiest way to get through this problem is for what I think is, so what we can do now is just say, so, well, it's a bit of a, you know, I wouldn't recommend it, but it'll help right now. So if counter is equal to one or counter one is equal to one, then we want to say time dot sleep 10,000 or 100,000. So. Let's see what happens. Now, hopefully this works. Awesome. So it did work. Now, this isn't the best way to do it, but it works for now. You can go search on the net for better ways to end your game. So let's reset our values back to 10. So if counter is equal to 10, just wherever you put the ones, put the tens down. So if counter one is equal to 10, back over here, 10 and 10. Great. So let's run our program one last time um all right one sec doesn't seem to be closing sorry about that so uh we've changed 10 everywhere command s f5 so this is the last time guys fingers crossed one all right let's play so let's just play the game two great three one all right now there's a lot more fuck so this is great the game is working fully functional and once one guy hits 10 it'll work now you can have the concept of timer and making it more graphically look nice but for now the thing that we've created is amazing so give yourselves a pat on the back this is huge you have a fully functional two-player game in the last lecture, we had created a bounce. Now we've created Pong. So awesome job. So this is it for now. Uh, I guess I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.